Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here, and we got something new. Well, kind of something old actually. This is a M1 MacBook Air refurbished edition from Apple. Uh, you know, we're coming on the release schedule of some new Macs potentially, but I still think the M1 MacBook Air is probably going to be one of the best valued Macs for quite some time. Uh, so I wanted to take a look at what I consider probably one of the best deals, the best values in Mac computers right now, and that is actually an M1 MacBook Air, but bought from Apple Refurbished. So I wanna go over the entire process of unboxing a refurbished MacBook Air, and you can kind of apply this, you know, philosophy or just this kind of general uh, unboxing experience of a refurbished product to any Mac. I've actually bought a old 2013 MacBook Air back in the day and that was like my first refurbished MacBook and it was like practically brand new. The M1 MacBook Air retails for $800 $50 on Apple's refurbished website. So let's take a look at the M1 MacBook Air. So let's do the unboxing process right here. You can see it's completely still shrink wrapped. You'll see it actually gets a special box. So this is a special edition of the MacBook Air box. So it's very plain white. There's no MacBook on the front of it. You can see that it says Apple certified refurbished right there. And it also says MacBook Air right in the center. So it's like a custom refurbished box, which is really interesting, right? You think they would just use the old box for it, but no, Apple wants to give you an entirely new box. They wanna give you still a good experience. They don't want you using someone's used box. So they're giving it to you in kind of a, you know, new fashion. It's not completely brand new because they do use, reuse some components. But other than that, uh, we're looking at a pretty new MacBook Air. And you can see as I open the box of the MacBook Air, this is the gold edition, by the way. Uh, you can see that we are relatively getting ourselves what looks like a brand new laptop for $850, complete with that amazing M1 processor, which is very important. So taking off the wrapping, I mean, if you've ever unboxed a MacBook or a MacBook Air, any Apple product before, everything at this point should look very familiar to you. Um, you know, I kind of wanted to make this video to educate people on how to get better deals on Apple products. Obviously, Apple products are pretty expensive, but it's not even just for the M1 MacBook Air or any of the M1 Macs. Apple sells refurbished products for nearly all of their product lines. If you want an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, you can get it from Apple refurbished and it's going to kind of be in this new condition. So you can see we also get new accessories in the box. You know, this cable completely pristine, completely nice. Uh, you still get documentation too. So you get your nice little MacBook Air pamphlet that you're probably never going to read. And you know what? Apple doesn't cheap out on the Apple stickers either. That's right, they give them to you. You got a refurbished product, you don't have to feel bad. Tim Cook said, you get two stickers, color matching stickers. So if you thought buying a refurbished product, you're not gonna get some of these rare stickers, Tim Cook was nice enough to include it in the box. And of course, you also get a brand new power brick as well. This is a USB-C power brick. This would be the 30 watt version for the MacBook Air. But let's uh, toss all this stuff aside for now because I think we should probably open this up and see like, is there any unforeseen damage with getting an Apple refurbished? You know, let's, you know, I haven't bought an Apple refurbished product in a while. So maybe this is gonna surprise me. Maybe there's gonna be some issues here. Well, look at that, it just turned on. So at least we know it turns on. You can see they still include everything, right? Look at that. It's, it's all pristine, it's all brand new. Don't quote me on that. But look, this, it looks entirely brand new. They're like, there's some refurbished products you buy, like, you know, I've done Amazon refurbished. I've done other used products from like B&H or Best Buy, use which uses Openbox. Language. Press the return key. I'm talking Siri, I'm trying to educate people. Uh, you know, I've bought from other places that do open box, used refurbished products. And, you know, sometimes you can get a product that is in pretty bad condition, something that doesn't look new. This right out of the box, it just looks completely new. There is nothing 
wrong with this product. No scratches, no blemishes, no dust, no fingerprint markings. I don't know what else to tell you about this thing other than that it just looks absolutely pristine, looks amazing, looks brand new. I keep repeating myself, but I just want to drive that point across so badly that this thing is brand new looking. So I'm just looking at this and trying to see if there are any imperfections. And honestly, uh, there isn't. And I was kind of expecting that based on what I know about Apple's refurbished process. So let's go ahead and start setting this up because uh, you know we're gonna run some tests on this as well. We wanna make sure that everything is good. You could take my word for it, but you know, uh, we wanna make sure that everything looks nice. And I gotta say, I'm setting this up still, uh, you know, this gold MacBook Air, there's something about it. You know, right now with Apple laptops, uh, you got the silver version, the space gray, and the gold. Uh, the gold is definitely the most colorful option right there. Probably not everyone's taste. Uh, probably something I wouldn't use like full time, but I gotta say just having different color options, I kinda like the gold. I, I kinda like the gold. Uh, do we wanna ask Siri stuff? Hey Siri, what's the weather? We're not, we're not sharing audio. Sorry, sorry Apple. So you know, we're going through the entire process here of setting up a new Mac. And uh, you know, we're just making sure that everything is working fine, right? I, so I told you that uh, a lot of the components on the outside would be new and um, you know, everything's working. Fingerprint scanner's working, the keyboard is working, the display looks great. There doesn't look like there's any imperfections in the display. All this stuff that I wanna test when I'm, you know, quote unquote, buying a refurbished product. I wanna make sure that everything is in working order. And so far, everything we're testing um, seems to be going smoothly. Um, you know, it's basically like getting a new MacBook with a slightly different box. And you can even see like Apple's taking care of you. It's not like they're like shunning you because you bought a refurbished product. Like it still comes with like a full battery charge when you unbox it out of the box. Like everything is still that nice Apple experience as you're unboxing and using this device for the first time. You know what? Uh, I'm trying to think what I could test out to make sure everything's working. I guess let's go over to YouTube. Maybe we'll, uh, uh, let's look up some no copyright music. I don't want to get a copyright strike when doing this video, but we'll play some, you know, no copyright sounds, uh, see if the speakers are working. That could be a failure point, right? So. Ooh, diamond eyes, let's see. So, uh, what have we learned today? Not a lot, I guess, uh, but we did learn that the MacBook Air or just any Apple refurbished product, if you go over to Apple's refurbished section, again, you can find uh, deals on a whole wide range of products. And what I'm basically learning here is that when I reviewed the M1 MacBook Air, I said it was probably one of the best laptops ever made uh, at an incredible value of $1,000. If you're looking to save some money, I mean, who among us isn't looking to save some money? Uh, the M1 MacBook Air from Apple refurbished, $850. That's $150 off the original price. That's a steal. That's honestly a steal. So uh, these go on sale from time to time. I don't know if there'll be any available as of the making of this video, but I will leave a link to Apple refurbished in the description below. And if you want a MacBook Air, if you see the price point and it's available, uh, I'd jump on this offer right now. Even if you were waiting for one of those new M1X Macs that we might see at the Apple event, um, I think it's gonna be quite some time until Apple gives us another Mac that can deliver on the value of the MacBook Air. And even if they come out with a new MacBook Air, 
well, it's not gonna be $850. Now, I don't wanna turn this into a full review of the MacBook Air. I already made that video. If you want like more in-depth information about the MacBook Air, check out one of my other videos. But uh, I just did wanna talk very briefly about this product. If you stumbled across this video and really didn't know anything about the new M1 MacBook Air. And to summarize, you know, this product, it's basically, the Apple laptop that everyone should buy. I know in the past, if you've done like research on older MacBook Airs, uh, you might've like read articles saying like, maybe they're a little bit too slow for certain tasks. Well, ever since Apple switched over to Apple Silicon, uh, that's the M1 processor powering this device, the M1 MacBook Air kind of became like this souped up computer, the souped up laptop that it really had no right being. And you could start doing a lot of things on this MacBook Air with ease, like really intensive tasks, like 4K video editing, photo editing, development. Uh, you know, the processor in this is technically more powerful than the Intel 16 inch MacBook Pro. And all of that without a fan inside of it. So this thing literally makes no noise. I'm using a light right now to record this. And you know, the light has a fan in it, that's making noise, but this thing is silent. No matter what I do on this machine, if I'm gaming on it, if I'm video editing on it, you will never hear the fan spin up because a fan isn't inside of this. And I guess that's also good for Apple Refurbish because that means one less failure point inside of this computer. So I think for the vast majority of people out there who are looking for an Apple laptop, an Apple laptop that can do everything, uh, one that has ridiculous battery life, this has 18 hours of battery life in it and has a great display. It's the basically same as the MacBook Pro display in the 13 inch, it has the P3 wide color spectrum. Uh, it gets a little less bright, only goes up to 400 nits versus the MacBook Pro's 500 nits. It's not really that big of a deal if you were thinking it was going to be. And it even has things like the function key row, uh, which the new MacBook Pros have the touch bar. But again, uh, based on what we know, we think that future MacBook Pro designs are basically going to get rid of the touch bar and adopt this function key row anyway. And it has the most important part of the older MacBook Pros with the touch bar, the touch ID sensor, so you can quickly log into the computer. I mean, what else can we say about this laptop? It is light, it weighs 2.8 pounds, it's relatively thin, has a nice tapered edge. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say about buying a refurbished MacBook Air from Apple's website. And hopefully this video helped you out in saving some money on not only this M1 MacBook Air, but you know, any Apple certified refurbished product. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like. I really hope it helped you out. Uh, if you wanna see more from my channel, we got an Apple event coming up, make sure you're subscribed. If you wanna help the channel out in any way, make sure you check out some of the links in the description. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. I'm gonna spend some more time with this MacBook Air. I, I, I do like the gold, I do like the gold.